I am Rishita from third year CSCC. Today we learn about Finder's algorithm. Now let's see outline. First introduction and then goes goal of Finder's, then representations in Finder's, and steps involved in Finder's, then example and then shortcomings of Finder's. Introduction of Finder's. Finder's is the basic concept learning algorithm in machine learning. Finder's Algorithm finds the most specific hypothesis which takes the positive training examples. Finder's algorithm takes only the positive training examples and neglects the negative examples. Finder's algorithm starts with the most specific algorithm and then generalizes the observed positive example. Hence, Finder's algorithm moves from most specific hypothesis to the most generalized hypothesis. Now we will see what's the goal of finders. Goal of finders is to output a set of all hypotheses that are consistent with the data. Now let's see the representations in the finders. Here question mark indicates that any value is acceptable for the attribute. It specifies a single required value. Phi indicates that no value is acceptable. The most general hypothesis is represented by question mark in a set. The most specific hypothesis is represented by phi in a set. Now let's see the steps in finders. Step number one, it starts with the most specific hypothesis that is h is equal to set of phi. The next step is it takes the next example. If it is the negative example then it stops there and there, there will be no changes occur in the hypothesis. Third step is, if the example is positive and we find that our initial hypothesis is more specific, then we generalize the hypothesis and we update our current hypothesis. Fourth step is, keep repeating the steps until all the training examples are complete. Fifth step is, after we complete all the training examples, we will find the final hypothesis which we can classify the new examples. Now my friend Akanksha will explain the example of the finders algorithm. Now let us consider the example. So for this data set, color, toughness, fungus, appearance are the attributes for which they are depending upon the concept poisonous. First, we consider the hypothesis to be more specific. Then our hypothesis would be the set of null values. Next, if we consider the example one, the data in the example one is green, hard, no, and wrinkled. Here we see that the initial hypothesis is more specific, so we need to generalize it. Therefore, the hypothesis becomes green, hard, no, and wrinkled. That means first here the null value is changed to green, so it becomes green here. In the same way, the, all the null values are changed to hard, no, and wrinkled as we, as we can see here. So now we will consider the example 2. In this example, we can see that it has a negative outcome. So when the hypothesis is having a negative outcome, we no, need not to consider that hypothesis and we will negate the hypothesis. So the hypothesis will remain the same as green, hard, no, and wrinkled. And if you come to example 3, it is same as the example is having a negative outcome. So the hypothesis will not have any change. So as the outcomes for both example 2 and example 3 are negative, we no need to consider the examples. So the hypothesis will remain the same. Now in example 4, the outcome is positive. So the data is present in the example 4 is orange, hard, no and wrinkled. So here we need to compare each and every attribute of this hypothesis with the initial hypothesis. So now we will consider the example 4. Uh, the outcome of the example 4 is positive. So we need to compare each and every attribute in this hypothesis with the initial hypothesis. So the data in this hypothesis is orange, hard, no and wrinkled. So we need to compare each and every attribute with this initial hypothesis. And if we found any mismatch in between these both hypotheses, we need to replace it with a general case symbol that is question mark. Now if we compare both the hypotheses, here we found a mismatch near green and orange. So we replace it with a general case attribute that is question mark. And when we compare the remaining attributes, hard and hard, 
no and no and the remaining are same so, so there is no mismatch found and there is there will be no change in the hypothesis now let us consider the example 5 the data present in the example 5 is green soft yes and smooth here we can see that each and every attribute is different when compared to this hypothesis so there is no hard no and wrinkled in the hypothesis so all these values will be change it to the general case attribute that is question marks. So in this way our final hypothesis is obtained. Since we have reached a point where all the attributes in our hypothesis have the general condition. So when we compare example 6 and 7 also they would result in the same hypothesis with all general attributes. So finally for the given data set the final hypothesis would be a set of all question marks. Now let us know about the shortcomings of finders. Although it will find the hypothesis consistent with the data, there is no way to determine that this hypothesis is the only target concept consistent with the data. And there is no way to determine how many consistent hypotheses are there. Thank you.